summer about wanting to see your defense play with confidence. And, right. and it seemed like they showed up last week confident. Obviously, they came out again today. Just how did you foster that throughout the summer? How did you get a group to be confident in this game even before they started? Yeah, playing? good question. I think that when guys know what they're doing and they trust what they're doing and they do it over and over and over again, they become confident in it. I think when you uh, when you don't know what you're doing, you're usually not confident. I think our coaches, I think our defensive staff did an incredible job today, along with our whole entire staff. But speaking defensively, I think the staff did a great job preparing them. We knew exactly what we were going to get, and our players were confident in that. They were confident in the technique, the scheme, and then you just got to give those guys credit. They played fast and physical for the whole entire game today, and I think the players deserve a ton of credit. When they're getting there. Both games, they're hitting guys hard. And then, like, did you did you coach them up on that, or is that just a byproduct of playing with the confidence? Say it again. Did you coach them up to hit as hard as they're hitting? It seems like every uh, time someone gets there, they're, they're playing. I wish I could take credit for that. I just think again, I think it comes down to they're playing fast, they're playing physical, and what Coach Day and the rest of the staff has been doing is preaching about being tough. And I think that's what you're saying. Jeff, how much like, when you have a Chase Young out there? Yeah. Well, and the pressure he's putting on. What impact does that have for the rest of the guys? It's behind? it's huge. I mean, you get them to, you get them behind the sticks, or you get them third down, and, and good luck. I mean, that's what it looked like today from upstairs. You know, we didn't we pressured a little bit more than we had. We showed a we showed a lot more than we had. Well, not a lot, but we showed enough. Um, but just watching that D line get after it's awesome. And the one thing, and again, you guys have all been really good to me. I want to make sure that I say this is, you guys saw Damon Arnett got hit on that go ball at the end of the game, and I know he was frustrated. I had told Damon he was done for the game. Damon actually had unbuckled his shoulder pads. Seven Banks was going in. Seven got hurt on the kickoff. So Damon ran on the field. Unfortunately, um, you know, I'm not using that as an excuse for Damon by any means, but I credit him for going in. And as a coach, I take responsibility for that. I told the player he was out. So I admit my mistake. So I don't, I just want to have Damon's back on that so everybody understands that. That part too, like, he seemed like he was defensive last week about dropping the pick and he's got a cast on his head. Yeah. How do you? No, I wouldn't. That I just think that, you know, a young guy's a young guy doing that. But as far as what happened at the end of the game, I credit him for going in. Um, but I, I felt bad for that. So I, I won't talk about that again, but I want to say that, that's on me. And I respect Damon, and I thought Damon played a really good game. Does, Jeff, a, shut, does a shutout mean anything extra significant? And what was your reaction when that fumble? The yeah. I imagine you about lost it. I, I did. A shutout to me at any level is so hard to get. And I think for the staff and for the players, I think it's special. It's hard to shut out anybody, and I think that's a good offense. It's a good football team. It's well coached. They have a good scheme, a really sound scheme. They've been scoring on everybody. The quarterback's a good player, so. It's special. It is hard to do. Gosh, I mean, at the end of the game, I was like, all right. And then here we go. We got the ball out. But that just shows that those guys fought until the end. So to strain to get the ball out there, I mean, credit to the players. It's awesome. Jeff, why were you guys so effective against the run? I think our scheme is very sound. I think our D-line and linebackers and corners and safeties tackled well again. Um, guys were in the right fits. Um, I think they were coached well all week by our staff. And our guys came to play. Our guys were tough today. They tackled today. And, and I think when we turn on the film, you're going to see it. I mean, our guys are playing with an edge to them right now, and it's going to be hard to block them. you think that last year has anything to do with that? I mean, I mean I, you have chip on the shoulder. you got to ask. you, you got to ask. you got to ask, Sam. I, I really I don't want to talk about last year, and I'm sorry to avoid your question, but but right now what we've seen is what, what those guys have went out and done in the first two games, we're proud of them. Jeff, what did you see when you got here out of Baron Brown compared to what you see now? Confidence. He knows what he's doing. He's playing very fast and very physical. But I think the biggest thing for him is he's confident. I think Coach Washington's done a great job in preparing him to play. And I think you're seeing that now. I mean, from upstairs, it looks like he, pre he played pretty well. Is there, is there something that happened? Is there a moment that you, can, you guys can point to in the spring or the summer? I think that... Coach Washington would probably be the best to ask um, that. So I, I can't point it out. I just think the more plays he makes and the more opportunities we give him, he's going to get better. There were a few moments, uh, I don't know how many times 